<laughs> hello, <laughs> hello everyone. Literally just sat down and it's been a bit of a rush, but um, welcome to another painting class. I am so happy to be here. Can you all hear me? Yay, thank you. So good evening, everyone. I am super duper excited. I've got some brand new painting pages. I'm gonna give you a sneaky peek tonight. So first of all, we're gonna get into, this is all about being tall and elegant, a little bit like myself. <laughs> um, so first of all, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how we elongate our design. So when we're building designs, particularly compositions, and what I'm gonna show you next month is I'm gonna show you how to take your designs and take them onto furniture. This coming weekend, we've got our first furniture makeover, upcycling um, event at Highlight Crafts. And I'm a little bit excited about it because some of the furniture that I'm going, going to be showing, I'm actually gonna be painting on. So imagine a chest of drawers where you take your painting across the front of it and over the top of the top, it's gonna to look stunning. And so I want us to learn over the coming months how to paint small, how to paint bigger, how to adapt different surfaces. So that's what we're gonna be working on. And um, also don't go anywhere because I've got a fantastic offer for you. And also I've got a little giveaway as well. We did a sneaky, sneaky little giveaway. I'm just gonna get rid of that cable. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna pick somebody at random. We'll do it, we'll pick somebody tomorrow morning once everybody's put their name in the chat and someone's gonna get sent a little, a little secret box, but it's full of goodies, so it's a bit exciting. Okay, so what, and that's only if you're watching us in the live, I'm just so if anybody's watching on catch up, um, it has to be from this live show, okay? So first of all, what I want to do is I've been looking a lot with the composition of different flowers and I wanted to share with you these two different designs and you can see that they do look slightly different. And so the way that I've done the painting page is I've, first of all, I've given you the direction that you're going to paint in, of course. And then what we're doing, we're coming up in a straight line and we're going out in two sort of Vs there. So that, that's forking as it comes off the actual stem. And then each of these stems get forks off them. So I'm gonna share more of that with you. And then how you just dot it to give it this effect, which looks so fantastic. And then once we've created that effect, we can use this to do sort of gypsophila style designs. We can do little using our scruffy brush. So one of these little brushes that we've made ourselves, we can dot it on and do like little clusters of little tiny mini flowers. And these leaves are the easiest leaves to go do. They are so super simple. Then the next thing is doing these flowers and look at this. I mean, wow, isn't that just beautiful? Imagine that painted with a bowl at the bottom or a container at the bottom, and then just a bowl full of this beautiful um, ditzy flower. It looks so pretty and tall and elegant. And then taking this flower, which here I've got on the first one I'd got, this one I've got five petals, and I bring it down to four, and it gives you this other look and feel. And looking at where the leaves come out from, that's another part of this that's really important. Then this leaf, oh my gosh, this is so super easy to do and it gives you the most amazing flowers and helps you paint these delphinians. And I just want to share with you what that looks like when it's a little bit taller. Look at that, it's stunning. And of course, then the next thing I've got is our sweet peas. So if you want to paint these lovely delphinians and sweet peas, I'm gonna give you a sneaky peek tonight, but there is a class to go with this and then doing bouquets of all these lovely flowers. Right, so let's get cracking. So for anybody who's joining us for the very first time, this is what I'm gonna use as my painting palette. It's um, a, an old piece of packaging. I've got a piece of card inside. I've put the piece of card in there so that I can lift it up, move it round, but also you can then see the color clearly. And I'm just gonna work with a few new colors. Now I have got these coming up on a show um, on the 20th on Create and Craft, but the first color I've got there is faded pink. 
I'm going to use um, another colour, which I absolutely love this green. It's a new one. It's called Faroons and it's a really fabulous shade. And look at that. It's got sort of like a, um, a lovely blue chalky green that we've got there. Um, I'm going to work with some plum because again, you know, that lovely faded pink and the plum, you can see those two shades go really well together. And I'm hearing Sarah, you've been painting this afternoon. That's, um, send us pictures. Let's share. Where do we get them sent? Send a studio at highlightcrafts.com. That'd be fab. Let's have a look at them. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this purple. Love that purple. It's a really pretty shade. And it goes very, very well with this one, which is called Iris. So a little bit there of Iris. So I've got all of those six colors here on my palette and I'm just going to paint with them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let me get my brush. I'm just gonna check it's nice and sharp near the chisel edge. And I'm going to pick a little bit of the Faroos up and that pale blue. So remember, when we're painting, we are stroking these colors and we're pulling the brush, chisel edge of the brush together. So it's nice and sharp like we've got there. So again, more of that. Now, if anybody's having brush loading problems, please, will you put in the chat and we, I will get to you trying to help you to make sure that we can get you on track with your brush loading because it's so it makes such a difference when you're glit or when you're working and it's right now i'm also just going to put out a little bit of white and the white i've chosen has got a gold glitter in it and it actually says that on the label but the other ones i've got this one's got a a blue with a gold glitter so I'm going to have a little bit of that on here as well. Oops, this one needs opening. So I'm just going to take that lid off there. And you'll see this blue. Look at that colour. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colour. And we'll just have a little bit of that there. Probably should have had a little shake, but there we go. That'll be fine. So that's another one of our our lovely shades. I'll just put the lid back on that one. And I'm also going to take a little bit of the pink and I'm going to use that one because this, if you are doing sweet peas, is beautiful. So I'm just going to lift that, put a little bit of the pink out. There you go. You can see that colour's gorgeous. So we're going to take the blue, the green and the blue, as I've already done, and I'm just going to take a little bit of light white. So I'm just lightening that colour. And I'm going to come up onto the chisel edge of my brush. And I'm using my little finger to support it, and I'm just going to slide my brush. And I've, I've slid, slide in the brush. I'm just going to slide that one off at a little bit of an angle. And then everywhere that I come off here, I'm going to come off with a little V. So that one then gets another little V. This one, a little V. So then I go again there. And you keep going like this until you're filling in the space that you've got. If your brush starts to run out of paint or gets pale, then stop, reload your brush and put some more paint on. And you'll find that some of these little areas will start to cross over, but that's absolutely right because that's what we want to happen. So you can see now where I'm starting to put this and I'm filling it in and I'm taking little V's off each, whoops, missed that one, each of those stems. So I'm going to go come again here and this time I'm going out there and out again and now I've lost that lovely chisel edge. So I'm coming back into my work. There, we've got again, like that. And we'll come up here and go, and they'll cross over each other, but it gives you this sort of web of lovely places to fill and put all your petals. Now, I'm starting to work with multiple brushes. 
And there's a good reason for this because the smaller that we paint, the smaller the brush size. The larger we paint, the larger our brush size. So we need to now have an arsenal of brushes. And so we've got a code for you and um, we, it gives you a deal and it gets you 50% off your brushes. And, but the code is brush 50. Now don't tell anybody because it's a secret code. Um, but it's a, it's brilliant because look, I'm now holding two in my hand. So as I get working and I've got three and four brushes, because I don't need to keep putting my brush in water, it just helps me to have multiple brushes. Right, this leaf, this is brand new, this one. So we're gonna touch there and just slide in a diagonal. So you're going to touch and slide, touch and slide. So let me do that for you at the side. So we touch and slide, just touch and slide. So you can see I'm not even, um, when I'm touching and sliding, I'm not even pressing down very hard. I'm letting the brush do the work for me. So I'm just gonna touch and slide, touch and slide. And the more I stay on the chisel edge of the brush, so I'm gonna touch here, slide and I take them out from one side to the other so you can see how I've created that little composition that I wanted to do there and then with that a scruffy brush so one of those brushes that you've given a haircut so even more reason to pick up that code and use it today I'm just going to go in and actually I'm going to give this one a bit more of a trim so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna trim that down because I want it short and stubby and I want it to feel firm when I'm working with it. So when I'm pouncing, I've got it nice and firm there and I'm gonna come into the white and a tiniest little bit of this blue. So into the white, into the blue and pounce it. So on my brush, you can see I've got two very distinct colors on that brush. And I'm gonna keep the white to the top and that blue is gonna be underneath. So when I move the brush down, so if I do it here for you, so I've got white, let me just get that loaded again. So I've got white and blue and you can see the, let me just, I'm gonna overload the brush so you can get, you can really see this. So I've got those two colors like that. And when I put the second one on, the white one's going over just a tip of the blue, leaving a tiny gap. And then the blue's underneath it. And then we go again like that. And I'm just gonna build up this pattern here. So I'm going white and blue, and then the white again, so the blue's underneath it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of white, that white there. So, now, you can see here, you've got this little bit of detail that's starting to come in and both colors are coming together. And you're just really getting that detail. And now what's starting to happen, as the color's drying, we're starting to get some of that sparkle coming through. So we're just starting to see a little bit of the sparkle and I know um, Jennifer said her hands aren't busy, big enough. And some of you are having a few problems loading your brush. I'd like anybody who's got a problem loading their brush, please send me something you've painted to Stephanie at Highlight Crafts and let me have a look at it so I can, I can help you. Right, now I'm just gonna get, pick this up and let's get a little bit of a, a sparkle. Just see, I want you to be able to see that glitter. Which way am I going, Andrew? Oh, there, there you go. You can see it, look. That's the glitter that's actually in this lovely, I'm just gonna fill that bit in there, in that lovely finish. But look at that as a little piece that has taken me no time at all to paint. And it looks so super, super effective. So I think we've got a picture from Hazel. Um, are we gonna have a look at it? Should we have a look at it? So um, Hazel painted this after the last month's cloth. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. All those different flowers on that lovely happy birthday. I'd love to know how long it took you to paint, Hazel. Please tell us. Drop us a message. Let us know how long it took. Um, okay, so that's one little flower that I wanted to share with you. Um, I just want to show you these little sweet peas because they're super easy to do. And they look really, really effective. And um, just got asked about the paint, the sparkle paint being used on parchment paper. And absolutely it can. It Because it has so little water in this hybrid acrylic, it doesn't, um, it doesn't make the paper wrinkle. So really, really useful to for you to have it like that. Right, I'm just going to get my sweet pea to the side of me just because I want to just remind myself how many buds I've got to put on here. Right, so we're gonna go up here. So I'm starting slightly at an angle and then I'm just gonna push the brush up. We'll just let that go up like that. And I'm just gonna go over it again. So I've got a steadier hand on that little bit there. And I might even just come off here. And then again on this little bit. So a bit up here and I'm just going to go round like that. Now, what's really interesting about sweet peas is if you've ever seen them, they have the most fabulous tendrils that really sort of bring things to life. And I love the way that they just literally just are all just in their own directions they just come out and they they literally they overlap each other you get this this really pretty effect where the flowers are going literally flying in different different ways and to get this so that we've got these lovely tendrils you've got a couple of choices now one of the easiest ways of doing it is to take a little brush like this, make yourself an inky puddle. So the, you're diluting the paint so that it's liquid. Now, if you go too dark with this, it isn't gonna show up. But if I go quite light with this, I can just literally do those curls. So I'm gonna come up here again. So I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna curl my brush. And this is fiercely addictive, everybody. And you come up and you go round and you might stop and you go round and round and round. I am using a number six flat and I should really stop now, but I'm gonna go one that way, one that way, one that way, one that, look. See how much fun it is. It really is quite addictive. So I've got loads of tendrils on there, far more than I needed, but why, why not? So I'm going back into the green and my white. So remember, I've got the ones with the glitter paint in them. And so what I'm gonna do now is for this. So you remember this stroke where we go wiggle, 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 and we come down and we paint our leaf. And let me just finish that one off. And, um, oh, let me just get that <gasps> painted. I just may stop my paint palette. So this is how we put it right. We come into here, I'm gonna pull that paint off. I'm gonna start again, the green on the green, the white on the white, and get until I've got that back. And then I'm gonna come back in and I just wiggle in. Okay, right. So that's the first part of it. So let's do this bit. So this time, instead of starting there, so instead of starting at that angle, I'm gonna start at this angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just wiggling down. And on this one, instead of starting there, I'm starting here and I'm just going to wiggle like that. So I get a slightly different shaped leaf. It is in fact a little bit easier than the other one. And you can wiggle down like that. And then 
I can come round and I can wiggle like that. So you get it so that a leaf is actually turning. So this one would have a stem there and this one would have a stem that disappears round there. And then we'll do another leaf and they come out from these areas here. And this one is just going to wiggle into that. And there it is. So it's a very small little leaf. And I'm just going to wiggle up to there. And then on this one, just wiggle up to there like that. So we've got a different style of the way that we're working with. Pop those brushes down and I'm going to pick up another one. And this time I am going with a number 14, which I was just using a number 16. And now I'm going to start to put some of these flowers in. And I'm going to come into here and this beautiful pink. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. So these pinks are just beautiful. And these are the glitter ones. Now, for this, we need the white at the top. And I need to put it on somewhere where... Um, it's, it's got a stem. So I'm just going to go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to the top and wiggle down like that. Okay. So we're wiggling to the top and I'm wiggling back down. Then on this side, I'm going to wiggle to the top and I'm going to wiggle down. So you can see how effective it is. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to wiggle out and I'm going to wiggle. So I've got it, the start of one of these flowers coming open. Then on this side, I'm going to slide it up and I'm just going to wiggle round in a curve. Now you'll recognise that as a sweet pea leaf, won't you? But you need more than one. So slide up and we wiggle round there. And then finally, I'm going to slide up here. And I'm going to wiggle around there. And these beautiful glitter paints are on our website. Um, you should be able to find them. If you've got any problems at all, then let us know and we'll direct you. And then this one. So I'm now just bringing it round in that lovely curve that you get with the sweet pea. Okay, so we're going to do another one. The next one, I'd like it a little bit more pointy on the end. So this one, you go up and then you can see that it comes down like that. And then I've got another one and this one's going to come just here. So only very small. And then this one is going to go up there to a point and then come round in a curve like that. And what you're doing is, and actually that one's not quite the right shape, so I'm going to go over it again. So I'm going to press down, there we go, and round like that. So you're getting these little pea, sweet peas that are not quite open, but you've got all the detail coming. This one, out, slide, and then come back round. Keep that brush loaded properly. It's really important when you are working with it that you've got it loaded. So slide it round there and then come back round to there. And then I'm going to put another sweet pea in. But this time I'm going to go... There is a... Um, a little button on the keyboard upstairs and if Andrew accidentally presses it when he's trying to get um, close to do things for you, it turns us off and he just turned us off. But I've just got him turning us back on again. And then you can see I'm going to go round and here. Look at how delicate these are. And then this one comes round like that. So that sweet pea is starting to be open. And we're coming up here. And I'm just going to go up there just again and drag it down and just round. So it's sort of literally all just falling open. And then we need to get some more of these little ones because they're the ones that 
you know, overlap each other. So, and I'm going to go out to that and then come round and just round. So we've got another little bud that I've put in. Um, let's put another one up here. So up there, slide back. And now I've just got a little bit of the purple on this one. So it's going to go out, slide round. Because, of course, what happens with your sweet peas, you start to get loads of different colours in them. So I've just put a little bit of the purple there. And I'm going to put um, another one just there. And we'll get this so that it comes up, it comes down, comes round. So we've got that little bud, those little bud shapes. So there's lots of stuff going on here. But the next bit of it is really important because we take quite a fine brush. So I've got, what have I got here that I could work with? A number 12, perfect. So I'm going to take the green and the white. And I'm going to be using this to put the little calyx in. And those little calyx, you literally touch and slide, touch and slide, touch and slide. Look at the difference that that makes. Really brings the detail into the flower and that finishing touch, that little bit of greenery that we've got just there. And it's the fact that this brush is so delicate because it's so small. And you can see I'm literally just touching and sliding. And then we're gonna touch and slide again here here and this one might need to come round and this one could be a little bit more closed, less of the flower, it's not quite as open as the others are and they've got the same thing here and let's just go around just there and I've got another one just here and they're really just bringing this little bit of detail. And all I'm doing is literally touching and sliding that brush. And I've got this lovely composition of these sweet peas that are all just cascading around and, and falling down. And you've got all those lovely details of those tendrils, because it's the tendrils that really make and bring this together. So that gives you an idea of the kind of effect that you're going to be getting when you do this. And those tendrils are the things that really bring it to life. So now I might want to put in a little bit more detail to finish it off. So, and at the moment I've got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six brushes on the go. So definitely, definitely a good chance to get hold of some extra brushes and make the most of it. So we're gonna lay down the water, the deal, and just literally put some more of those tendrils, just going off in different directions, just literally finishing it off. And, and that's what makes this sweet pea thing look so good. Now I'm going to put in a couple more stems because I want to fill it out, make it fuller. So I've gone back to my larger brush and I'm just going to pull that together and pull that in as a stem. And then again here, I'm gonna pull it in as if I've got another stem. So now I can come out and I can pull a, a line across here. And let's do another one and come out across there. So you can see how I'm starting to fill out this little bouquet of flowers that looks really just sort of quite delicate and detailed. And so at this point, this is where I'm going to pick up the purple. So I'm going into the purple and the white. I've still got that glitter on my brush. And just really slowly, so you can see the, this, this stroke. So we come out. And then I just do a little wiggle and I press down and then I bring it back like that. So you're getting sort of like that little curve of the sweet pea. So let's do one here. So you go out and then I press down. And as I'm wiggling back, I curve it and bring it back round to come back. And then we need to put another one on top. So we want another one just here. So out round, wiggle round and come back. 
So you can see the petals laying on top of each other. And, and then again up here, out, that little wiggle round, come back and we'll put another one in round there and come back and just twist that brush round to fill in the gap. And then we come back to our smaller brush and bring those colors together. And we're just gonna slide that green up and up and up, just filling in the gaps, making sure that we've got that little bit of greenery just to sort of, it's attaching the flower head to the stem, just giving us that extra little bit of detail that we've got, just bringing that in. And those few extra little flowers make all the difference and really fill out the design. So that's another one of our little flowers for you. Okay, now um, I wanted to share with you um, another flower and I'm going to work larger than I do on the teaching guides. But this is because we can get some really nice detail with this one. So I'm gonna keep my number 20 brush. I'm gonna come into my, um, my raspberry and side load the plum and let's get some white on here. So let's get these three colors working for us. So the white, plenty of white, so you can see that just there, it looks fab, doesn't it? And then some of that lovely, lovely pink and side load the purple. And just going to bring these colours together. And I want you to see the difference between having the um, colour on the outside or the colour on the inside. Now this shape in my head, I've got a V and a pivot point. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wiggle, one scallop and one scallop and come back into the middle. So I'm going to do one scallop, one scallop and come back into the middle. If I come on the other side, one scallop, one scallop, back to the middle. It's running out of paint, so I'm having to pick up more to make sure that I've got enough. Then I come one, one, and you can let them touch if you want to, or you can leave them apart, it's up to you. And now this last one, one, two, and I've come into the middle. Right, now let me turn this one round for you and let you see the difference. One, two, come into the middle. Then we're gonna go again, one, two, come into the middle. So again, one, two, so a lot of purple on that one, but it's still good. One, two, there. And then I've got one more here, one, two. So you can see the difference between those two flowers. And I'm just gonna take that one in there. And in fact, I've just spoiled it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back, one, two, and back in there. So I've got that nice and clean. You can definitely see the same colors, different combinations, one with the light, one with the dark. Right, next one, I'm gonna show you layering with these colors. Okay, so this time, uh, one, two, into the middle. Now one, two, into the middle. So make sure to keep the chisel edge. So we're gonna go up and round. This is real good brush control now. We're gonna go again here and here. So you'll notice in nice and clean on these edges, no fluffy edges, no blobs. One, two. Here we go. Okay, so then I'm just gonna do this one for you again once more. One, two. Now, if I don't start to think about lifting my brush off sooner than now, I end up with that blob. You can see that blob, look, it's there. It's right on that edge. 
that's happening because I'm not planning to lift this up soon enough. At the moment, I'm coming right up on the edge. Look how much cleaner it is. Right now, Elaine, I know you've put in a request for me to show you left-handed. I'm going to be, a, I'm not so sure I'm left-handed as cack-handed, but here you go. This is it with my left hand. Okay, so I'm still on the same page. I'm pushing up and coming round like that. And then I'm going up and round again and coming back down to there. Okay, so let me do the whole flower for you. So I'm here and pushing up and round and up and coming up on that brush to come in there. Not got quite as much pressure on it as I do when I'm right-handed, but I'm just gonna go again, press down, and then another one there, like that. And again, so we'll go up here, press. There we go. And one last one in here. So press, whoops, and press. Not quite so even, but. Still, you, you can see exactly the same method. And if you're left-handed, you'll be, um, yeah, you'll it'll be more natural for you. I must give that a bit of a practice because I haven't painted left-handed for a while. Right, now, when I did this, I was picking up mostly this shade of pink here, this one. I'm going to work mostly with the plum now. And instead of working with a number 20 brush, I am going to move down to a number 18 or less. So let's have this number 16. And I'm going to show you the next way we do this. So my white and my plum, just checking that the chisel edge is coming together nicely. I can feel it nice. So white and plum, okay. Now, this time, I'm going to paint in the gap. So white and plum there. Oops, I've got to just get that paint off my brush, my fingers. So into the white and the plum. And I'm going to paint white there. So you've got another layer of petals. So you now we, you know when we now see flowers where you've got they have different layers and different sizes of petals in each of the petals that um, the layers of flowers that you do. This is what we're doing. So we're going like that. So you can see that on that flower, it's got two different layers inside it. So let me just now show you if I take in a little bit of the blue. So I've got the white and the blue. And I'm just going to do this one here, so white and blue. And I'm going to go, whoops, missed a bit. And you'll notice how, so I'm going between the petals. So I'm coming between them. This is a, a really nice way of starting to get your layered flowers. So you can see this one that's got the blues in there. I'm now gonna come into this one and put the blue in this one. So I'm gonna pick the color and I'm gonna go in the middle again. And a little, oh, I need a tiniest little bit of that plum on there just to bring that color in because it's not quite the color we want. There we go. So this has got that extra layer that I'm putting in. So you can see that there it's going in just, and can I just tell everybody um, about our festival that we're having? We're, so now look at that, look at that flower, look at the layers that I've got in there. It just is bringing you all of these layers. So that is our, our um, first flower 
But now I'm going to do something else. While that's just drying, I'm coming round the other end and I'm just going to pick the blue and that purple. Let's get ourselves a really nice shade of purple. And I'm just going to use this to do a wiggle and I've come down and then I'm doing another wiggle and I'm coming round there. I'm not worrying, I've got a hole in the center. Okay, so don't worry about that because I'm gonna show you something that you can do that's a lovely little thing to do, especially if, you can't, if you're a card maker. So I'm coming up here, so I'm up here, I'm doing a bit of a wiggle and then I'm making a break and then I'm doing another little bit of a wiggle and I'm gonna pull that in there. These are what our little sweetheart leaves, that um, petals that we do. Um, right, so Academy. So we are going to be having the most amazing, exciting event. And we're calling it our festival. And when it gets launched, please, whatever you do, if you want to come on a class, do not wait to book it. Because there will be a maximum of 10 people on each class. But every day... Or for two days, you can do one or two days, it's up to you. We will take, you will come and do four different classes with us. So imagine that you've got four different classes and you'll do that as part of um, our festival weekend or our week. So if we're going to go for 10 days solid and what will happen is you will come for the day. It's only going to be... 40 pounds that will include your lunch and four fabulous classes and then if you do want to travel a little bit and maybe make a bit of a holiday of it and you come up to Derbyshire and you stay over we are doing the second day will be different and again it's just 40 pounds so you can come and do a two-day stay or you can come and do a one-day stay um, and the fun bit is that once we, when we do that, you actually will get to try over two days, eight classes and um, it's so affordable. So we are going to be doing painting. We're going to be doing two red robins. We're going to be doing cadence. We're going to be doing mindful moodling. We're going to be doing fleurs. Uh, we're doing quirky bird. Um, we are literally, we're going to give you a little taste of everything. Lemon Lane. So even if you think, oh, I don't do sewing, do you know, come and do a project. Just come and have a really fun day doing a project. So it's going to be from the 1st, no, sorry, from the 7th to the 16th of August. And we are going to go out and let you guys know first and it's going to get announced and booking will open next Sunday. So, and I can tell you, we mentioned it on Sunday this week and we've already had hundreds of people say that they are interested in coming. So please don't miss out on being one of them. Right now, I want to share this with you. Look at that. I've just cut that out. That is the first little flower that I've cut out. And do you know the reason that I've cut that, and I know, Hazel, you're using your scan and cut to cut yours, which is just a, a fabulous way of doing it, is because I want to show you what happens if we do this. Right, now we've got some more pictures to share with you. So while I'm just cutting this out, let's take a little look at Sarah's pictures. So this is the first one from Sarah. Oh, wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Now, what are you painting on there, Sarah? It looks like, it looks like it could be, um, have you just painted on the corner of something and you've cut the best one out? Well, do you know what? It's blinking brilliant. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Do you know what happens? The more you paint, funnily enough, the better you get, guys. You do. That's Sarah. That's brilliant. Well done, you. Um, I don't know how long you've been painting, but um, that's super nice. Love it. And... 
do you know what I love is that you all just feel that feeling that I have when I paint and I just love the fact it makes you feel so chilled. Right, now, for the next class that I do like this, I'm going to have a load of this stuff already cut out. But for this one, I just want to share this. So look at the dimension that we've got here. So the reason I did the two, so this one, I don't have to worry about the centre. And that one, I've just cut the middle and I've popped it on top. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of the burgundy and a little bit of the white. And we're going to go just in the middle here with that little bit of burgundy. And that little tiny bit of white. Look at that. Doesn't that look super? I need a little bit more burgundy. Doesn't that look fabulous? Bringing those two just petals together. And it's all about the shading and bringing that shade together. But that little bit of sparkle that I've got on there really just makes all the difference. So you've got these beautiful flowers that you can be layering up that will give you this lovely finish and luster. So just to recap then, when you do that flower petal, this isn't one we've done before, so it's a new one for you. So you go up and round, pause and come round again. And as you're coming back round, I'm coming up on the chisel edge and I come back in like that. So you're making the perfect heart. Okay, so let's do one more again. So we go up and round, down to the dip in the heart, round again and come back up and come back to make the perfect heart. And then each time you do that, we want to be making five of them there. And just remember at that point, you must be coming back up on the chisel edge, otherwise it doesn't work. And you go round and you can see I've run out of paint. And that is what happens when you run out of paint. That little bit just missing, just there. And, and then the difference, if I do this and I do one and I stop, and then I do the next one, and I stop. Look at the difference between, between these. You haven't got that smooth flow that you get. We want that smoothness and that smooth flow because it really does make a difference. Now, the next time that I see you, I'm going to show you how to do plant pots and watering cans. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a little taste of a plant pot. So, <clears throat> What we're going to do is we'll take two colours and we'll start off and we can just take this, get a little bit more white and so I'm going to take the white and the burgundy and we'll use those two colours to make our pot. So here we go. So white and burgundy. Notice I've changed to another, a, a bigger um, brush again. So this time I'm going to come down here and I'm splaying that bristle out as much as I can. And I'm coming down and pulling it up and stopping like that. Then again, a lot of paint on this brush. Plenty, plenty of paint. Really important. And I stop here and I splay out the bristles and I pull down and I come down to that point like that. And then I'm now going to take my brush and I've got, so I've got the plum and the white and I'm going to side load the plum on the other side. So I've now got plum on both sides and I'm just going to come here 
like that and stop there. So I've made the start of the pot. For the plant pot holder along the bottom, I'm just going to do a stop and pull back. So I'm going to go from back to back. And for the top of the pot, I'm going to go like this from there to there, stop and pull back. So you just move backwards and forwards and we're just, just going to, oh, Andrew's saying he liked it the other way. Well, that was just your choice. This one, I'm now going to come round it here. See, he's making me laugh and teasing me. Um, we're going to just go back round here and make it so the pot. Whoops. It's more paint. So the pot will come round like that. And then this one. We'll come round there and then we're going to put a flower in our pot. But what I will be doing next time is I'll show you how to paint bigger pots, get all this thing and then we do tumbling. Um, we do a tumbling flower down the side and let me do that now while I've got you here. So we start off like this. Yeah, I, I tell you, you can tell Andrew's not a gardener. He's trying to give me instructions on how to paint pots. Reckons this one's a bit too rigid, not much, not much movement in it. It's a bit too, bit too angly. I don't think he even knows what that means. He definitely can't spell it. Right, so then we're going to get the pot and the, the design to just... He's just telling me how he watches his wife doing all the weeding and the gardening. I'll tell you what, I, I know that you wouldn't be saying that if she was here. I can trust me, I'm sure. So you can see how I've just brought that little cascade of flower over the top of the pot. And then I think you guys have to come here and do a class with us just to meet Andrew. Don't you? Don't, what do you all think? Don't you think? I just, I do just think you need to meet him. So there it is. There's a little design and I'm just going to put a little bit more. I love doing these, um, these tonal designs where we pick a color palette and we just work with that color palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some, a little bit of foliage coming out the top of the pot so that our flower can sit there and we'll just put a little bit of it just here. Just like that. There. So there we go. How lovely is that? Just another one of those little simple little designs that just brings the whole thing together. Right, so sweet peas, we've got those to look forward to. How much fun is that gonna be? Also, don't forget, we're also gonna be painting this new form of foliage. We're going to be layering up our flowers and painting that heart shape, which we haven't done. And we're going to be sliding the brush and doing these beautiful, beautiful delphinium style flowers that are just lovely. And I can't wait to show you those in a bit more detail. But that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. So we're going to be making those as well. Oh, quickly, I must just show you that leaf. And it's super, super easy to do. So two colors on your brush. So here I've got my two colors. And I start off and I wiggle quite high on the tip of the brush. And I wiggle down a bit. And then I wiggle a bit more. And then you wiggle and you change angle. And then you come back down and you wiggle. And you change angle. And you wiggle and then slide back wiggle wiggle slide back and then you come to the other side and you just wiggle and slide back 
wiggle there and slide back and wiggle again and there and just slide back and take that through the middle. So you've got that lovely leaf giving you that detail that we've got there. And don't forget all of the sparkle that we've used tonight because we've given ourselves such a pretty finish to the designs. So you can get your brushes at half price. Check out this uh, um, fantastic festival we're gonna have. So it's 10 days from the 7th to the 16th of August. 10 people in each class, but you'll do four classes in a day. Lunches are, are included. So for instance, Monday will be four classes, Tuesday, four different classes, if you want to come for two days running. And then what we're going to do to make it as easy as possible for setup and everything, Wednesday, we will reset and we will do Tuesday's class again. And then we'll do repeat the Monday class the day after. And we'll do it like that all the way through for 10 days. So maximum of 10 people in a class. So it is first come, first served. Lunch is going to be um, a hot lunch with jacket potatoes and some fillings um, to choose from. A little bit of salad. Not for me. Um, I'll stick with all the yummy, yummy things like the cheese and the beans and the, and the, um, oh, the sweet corn and tuna. Yeah, that's for me. And I need to pick somebody to win my prize. So I need to pick a number between one and 30, number 11, which is my mum's birthday. Janet, if you could drop me your details, please. I'm going to send you a little gift. It is worth about £30, maybe a little bit more. So it's well worth having. Um, my email is stephanie at highlightcrafts.com. Oh, now there are two Janets. It's the one that is, oh, now, Andrew. Oh, there's two Janets. He could have made it right. Right, okay, Janet, just Janet, and Janet Levison. I we will send you both a prize. Andrew, that you you're packing them. <laughs> um, email in both of you. Um, thank you for watching everyone. Oh gosh, what should we have for dinner tonight? I don't know, but I'm thinking about maybe it'll be prawns, mm, jack of potatoes. Um Oh, Elaine's asking if we can do any more templates. Actually, yes, we are, Elaine, because we've got a few more ideas of things we can do. Um, email me, tell me what you'd love to see. I really am so interested in hearing you and what you're painting. I'm loving it. So look forward to seeing you all again next month, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's such a pleasure. And I don't forget your code, um, brush50. Get 50% off those brushes. We don't do that very often. So make first, in fact, first time ever we've done 50% off. That's £10 off. That means half price. Wow. Okay. You can pack those as well, Andrew. All right. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.